Hey everyone, this is Alex Dunn with another Xamarin Quick Tip. Uh, we're going to go on to the next section of calling platform specific code from your portable class library. If you didn't see the first video, there are some links to some resources. The source code for all of these are up on GitHub, and there's also a link here to the Hockey App SDK since that's the platform specific code we're implementing. So the second method we're implementing is going to be using the Xamarin Forms dependency service that they have built in. So what we're going to do is head over to Visual Studio uh, in our existing project, which used the singleton method for calling platform specific code and move things around in order to use the Xamarin Forms dependency service. So now back in Visual Studio, we have our implementation from the previous video of our hockey app service. So this is in our iOS project implementing the actual native SDK, um, and that implements our iHockey service, which is our interface in our PCL. And then from there, we have our hockey manager, which created our singleton that we referenced before. So the goal for this part is to actually get rid of the need for this hockey manager and handle it all in the Xamarin Forms dependency service. So there's only a few things we really need to do. On top of our namespace in our iOS project, in our hockey service, we're going to add an assembly tag here and reference the dependency service from Xamarin Forms. So we do that from calling xamarin.forms.dependency and then we just pass that the type of the hockey service. So we're going to need to use the full namespace here. So that's the only change needed here. The next thing we do is go back to our code behind where we actually made the call to our feedback. And so what we're going to do here instead is get the implementation from our dependency service, so we'll call, actually I already have the Aaron Forms namespace, so we'll call the dependency service, and we'll just call .get of iHockey service, and then from here we can call get feedback. Oops, not get hash code. Computer is lagging a bit. And then we can go back also into our app where we call the knit, and we can get rid of that piece of code. And also in our app delegate, we can get rid of our initialization of the singleton here. That's it. So now we'll run this, and we should see the exact same results we did in the previous video. So now that we've set up our dependency service to use our hockey service, uh, we can now run it here and we should see the exact same results when we click the button. So we have our feedback manager, we can go ahead and provide feedback. Uh, we've reinstalled so it's going to ask us to provide a name. But even still, it's all the same things. The full features are there from the native SDK and this is without having to have a singleton lying around and without having to call that um, init from your actual native platform. So it's all handled through that assembly tag. So the next thing we're going to look at is using that same service locator pattern but without using it in Xamarin Forms. Uh, we'll use a different library to handle registering dependencies and actually pulling them down from a locator. So stay tuned for some more of those quick Xamarin tips.